What's going on, Xanderverse? It's your boy Xander Wayne here, the Jet Lock Nerd, here with the TXI reaction video. Here we have yet another trailer for Tekken 7. I don't think people realize how bad I need this game. I enjoy many fighting games Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, the Dragon Ball Z franchise, um, you know, many others, but Tekken is probably one of my high rated well not high rated highly favorited fighting game series that I enjoy. I enjoy Tekken so much it's ridiculous. I actually own every single Tekken game, save for the handheld games. Or yeah, so Tekken one, two, three, tag, four, five, six, tag two. I even have Tekken Revolution on PlayStation 3. But in any case, this is supposed to be the last chapter in the Mishima Family series. I don't know if they're going to ever... I don't know if they're going to do another a new Tekken after this one. It'll be interesting to see if they do. But, in any case, we have the trailer for Tekken 7. Let's get right into it. Kazuya Mishima. Kazumi Mishima. I need that gen. I need him. Apollo. Yes. Now, of course, if you follow me, then you know when it comes to fighting games, I always knock out the story mode first. Then I work on getting all the character endings. So I am very much interested in playing story mode for this game. Oh, and we have a new Raven. I will eventually do a casting call for the Tekken universe as well. Um, I think that'll come immediately after I'm done with the Street Fighter universe casting call. Quick time. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad there's more quick time in these games now. I, I, I appreciate it. I really do. The one thing I also appreciate about the Tekken franchise is like, right after, I say after Tekken, what? Like, like Tekken 5 is when they just started saying, you know what, screw it. You might as well just put everybody in all the games now. It doesn't make sense to only have a set number of, you know, fighters for each game. You know, so, I mean... Tekken 1, 2, and 3 had all the hidden fighters and stuff, which increased uh, which increased, increased the roster. But 
you know, Tech and Tag, you know, they gave us everyone that's ever been in the game. You know, once we Tech and Four, it kind of limit. We didn't have any. We didn't have any hidden fighters. Tech and Four, dare I say, is probably Tech and Four is the weakest in everything else except story. That's and that's my opinion. Everything else aside from the storyline of Tekken 4 was pretty weak. There wasn't a lot of characters. Um they changed the fighting mechanics up, which I didn't like at all. Um and you know, it wasn't as um you know, I, I would have yeah, I would just have to say that Tekken 4, aside from the story, is is one of the weakest is the weakest of the Tekken series. It's the weakest one. Um I still love Tekken Tag, the first one, Tekken Tag Tournament. I love Tekken Tag 2, but I love Tekken Tag Tournament 1. I loved it. I played that shit in the arcades like all the daggone time. But Tekken 7 looks like it's going to be off the hook. And again, it's supposed to be the last chapter, so we'll see what happens. In any case, post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this trailer for Tekken 7. If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy my reaction, hit the dislike button. Share this video with all your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Dreadlock Nerd out. Peace.